I've always been mechanically minded from an early age. Um, I used to uh, take stuff apart and then, you know, occasionally put it back together again just to see how it worked. And that kind of followed through, you know, through school, through university, um, you know, into doing engineering at university and then into uh, running this company. We're a small uh, manufacturer of uh, attachments and equipment to go behind ATVs and 4x4s. You can obviously go to university or you can go down the vocational route as well. But for me, you get a lot from university, both with the education, but it, you know, it broadens your horizons in terms of meeting new people. You'll find that you know, all the universities push you to you know, make sure your, your, um, your CV is there and correct in terms of experience before you finish and you know all being well if you've got the right grades you can get a good job at the end of it. As soon as I finished I had a job lined up with Rolls-Royce in Bristol uh, working on aerospace engines. Rolls-Royce is an amazing company just purely because both the size of it you know it's a huge organization with thousands and thousands of employees and the complexity of the products that they actually make. You don't realize when you jump on a plane the just the sheer amount of engineering involved with making just the engine for it. So not even just you know, the frame and the rest of the plane, just the engine itself involves thousands and thousands of employees to actually you know, make it work and make it reliable and safe. Fancy the challenge that running your own business brings um, and also the freedom as well. So to be based down in Cornwall, um, which is a great place to live. Um, and I knew that I could do that with my own business. Starting a business is, is incredibly hard, um, especially if you haven't got much capital behind you, um, which I didn't. So when I started, I, I'd be on the phone selling a machine, I'd then be going to you know, actually fabricate it, welding, and, and even if the phone rang while I was welding, I'd have to drop the welding torch, run and answer the phone and deal with that. So you, and you're trying to do everything, and you kind of have to go through that stage, um, you know, especially starting without very much capital. But it teaches you, you know, the raw mechanics of running a business, what really matters and how you make money. And ultimately you won't make that much money at, start, at the start and you shouldn't necessarily aim to, you should aim to be the best at what you do, worry about the money you know, as, as time progresses. We're seven years on from when I first started. Uh, we've got six employees and we're looking to expand again. We'll probably be adding another couple over the next few months. Turnover in excess of a million pounds and we're looking to expand as well with some new purchases of machinery uh, and equipment coming in. And yeah, it's, it's great, it's really starting to, starting to fly now. It's, it's like the, the, the old saying, isn't it? If, if you um, find something you enjoy doing, you never work a day in your life. And that's certainly true with you know, whatever job you go for. If, if you've got an interest in it, in a, pa you know, a passion, it makes work a lot easier and it makes it a lot more enjoyable. So for me, it's, yeah, it's a no-brainer.